To create our project, we will need a text editor. But what is a text editor? A text editor is a program for creating and editing text files. So, there are different text editors. You have Atom, Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code. On our side, we will start with Visual Studio Code, but you can also use another text editor according to your preference. There is no problem. So, concerning the realization, you can very well create pages of type HTML, CSS, JavaScript, for example, for the front side. For the back part, you have, for example, the part PHP. We go directly to the official website of Visual Studio Code and we click on Download. Then, depending on your operating system, you can download the application. I take directly Mac. That's it. So I will let you download and follow the download protocol, which is quite simple, and we will meet in a moment. Once it's downloaded, we will find ourselves here. So here is the page. Here you have Explore, so it will be to scroll in your structure. Here we have the Search section, which will allow you to search for the files you need. Here we have all the source control, so all your emptied files. Here you have run and debug if you need. Then we have the extension, so this is very important. I will show you some useful extensions. And then we don't need this. This is the NX console. When you need the console, for the moment it's not the case. So we're going to create a folder directly. I will show you directly. New folder. We will do folder. Now we will go and find the folder, we will go directly to file, open folder, in the office I found my folder, like this, and there I will click on new file, for example I will call it index.html, here you have directly your html file. Concerning the extensions, I installed the one of Angular Essentials, also Angular Language Service, which will allow you to facilitate the fact of writing the code. It will propose you directly tags to incorporate to write Angular code. The extensions will allow you to make your work easier. They will also allow you to organize and structure your code well in order to improve your quality and your work, and that's why I use VS Code. That is to say that it has a lot of facility at the level of extensions. There is a plurality. You can install all that you want, of course, depending on its effectiveness. You will always have a note according to the users, but you can very well, if you want, to go directly to the terminal. If you want to make comments, it's very easy to use, very simple and very playful. That's why I use this text editor. That's it for this video about Visual Studio Code and its installation. Now we're going to move on to the practical side of the project.